In this short video, we're going to talk about the technical aspects and skills of how to run with poles. And these key elements are moving across technical terrain, ascent and descent, uh, walking versus running, and double poling. So thinking about how the ground dictates to us, as we move across terrain, we, we, we're going across a nice park, but it starts to become technical underfoot. So we've got rocks and just bits and pieces on the terrain that's going to start to dictate to us how those poles are placed into the ground. As things change, we might use the poles for a bit of stability. Uh, we might want to end up vaulting over something because there's a small divot or a stream in the way. We might have a log that we need to vault over the top of. So these are the type of elements that are going to start dictating to you how you're using the poles. If we take, for example, something like uh, a sky race moving across the top of Scar Fell, then really that type of terrain is totally dictating to you where the poles are going to be placed and how you're going to place them, rather than you wanting to do it as you think it should be done. So the next key elements that we're talking about are ascents and descents. In the ascent, I'm thinking about a piece of technical ground you know is it a hard trail that I'm going up are there rocky steps in it am I going to approach it by pulling myself up that rocky step am I splitting my poles and a bit of push pull action going on or am I from behind pushing myself up everything needs to be in a nice upright position and I'm going to of course be a little bit more overbearing with my poles than I would be in a normal style when I'm thinking about descent, then what I need to remember are my poles are always attached to me. I don't need to hold these to keep hold of them. So I can throw those poles out, give myself stability in front and drop myself down, thereby saving my legs for a more efficient movement pattern over that ground. So the next key element to think about is when to run against when to walk and why we're going to do that. So running is going to come in those times when there's long expanses of nice flat terrain where you can maximise on your efficiency and maximise on your propulsion. But we all know that there's only maybe 1% of the runners who are actually running the hills in an ultra. What we're actually thinking about is as soon as I hit a hill, I want to have that nice, efficient walking style. And thereby, if I can move across terrain, walking hills, efficiently Nordic walking up them, running with poles along the flats, and then combining an element of running and walking down the hills, depending on how the technicalities are presented to us, we're going to become a really efficient uh, mover with poles across the mountains. And so the final technique that we're going to go over in this video is double poling. Why do we double pole? Well, essentially this comes down to either the terrain will dictate to us that that's the way the poles need to be used. If it's a really technical footpath, it's got lots of block, uh, block stone in it that could catch the poles, or I just can't efficiently Nordic walk across it, then I'm going to start double poling. And I'm going to double pole and I'm going to walk through. And as I walk through, I'm going to push back with those poles and give myself poor propulsion. And when that cycle's finished, I'm just going to pull back through again and I'm going to keep double poling and walking through to whatever frequency works for me across that terrain. Another great thing about double poling and certainly on uphill sections, is that I can add quite a bit of power. I can even overtake people double poling if I take it, if I take it to its extreme version. So throughout this short video, we've covered the key elements of how to run with poles and why to use those systems. In order to get yourself moving with the poles, you really need to get out and practice this. Uh, it, and if practice doesn't work by yourself, then seek out a course uh, through a provider who's able to give you this in detail because we're just giving you a real snippet here.